Accused of abetting trafficking of over 1 kg of cannabis, Tangaraju Sipaya was hanged till death on 26 April 2023 after spending 9 years in Singapore's jails and detention centers. President Halima Yaqob rejected the pleas for clemency on the eve of the execution. Tangaraju spent most of his early life going in and out of prison for marijuana consumption and possession. Now Singapore has the world's harshest and toughest anti-drug laws aimed to deter drug abuse and drug crimes. In 2012 the country hanged 11 people all on drug charges. But Tangaraju's execution is not as open and shut as it seems. Here's what is not adding up. When Tangaraju was arrested in 2014 in drug trafficking case, he was already in remand on unrelated drug consumption charges. But Tangaraju wasn't caught with the cannabis. Authorities claimed they traced phone numbers coordinating the delivery to him. Tangaraju was found guilty in 2017 and sentenced to death in 2018. Tangaraju's conviction was mostly based on statements recorded by police officials during interrogation. A lawyer or a Tamil interpreter as he had requested were allegedly not present. Witness testimonies connected him to a phone number that Tangaraju claimed he lost before the alleged trafficking. The judge handling Tangaraju's case considered objections to inconsistencies in arguments but later dismissed them. After the execution, Singapore reiterated its zero tolerance stance to tackle drug abuse. Singapore has faced severe fire for executions in drug cases. but has repeatedly failed to provide tangible evidence that executions bring down drug abuse in countries which have not abolished death penalty international norms mandate execution only when the accused guilt is based on clear convincing evidence which leaves no space for an alternative or plausible narrative the norms also prohibit imposition of mandatory death sentence for anything but the most serious crimes singapore also has provisions and precedent for recent sentencing convicts arrested for similar drug trafficking charges With circumstances similar to Tangaraju's, several sentenced to death in drug trafficking cases were spared from death row. Tangaraju's family had long campaigned for his re-sentencing, gathering support from across the globe. Tangaraju reportedly turned down a plea bargain because he believed he could prove his innocence in court. Since he wasn't caught in possession of the drugs seized, since he didn't pay or receive money for it, and he claimed that there was no evidence that he placed an order for it. Tangaraju's family, activists, several organizations and personalities across the globe failed to stop his execution. and these inconsistencies and big questions remain unanswered